Acro is fast. Uh, it's a challenge. It's a fitness, like a physical challenge as well as a real like technical um, class. For me, it's kind of got everything I'd want an Olympic class to have. It. Knowing how to use your equipment and what settings to use, what full settings to use, is a big part of the challenge. But then also, the the racing's really good. But it's a hard enough boat to sail that you know you need the skills to sail the boat to be able to race. I think it has everything. A class that gives me a lot of adrenaline when we, when we go out racing. Um, like you can have big days where you go out in the wind and waves in a foiling boat that's not really designed to sail in those kind of conditions. So it's kind of just a battle to get around the course, and I like that aspect of it. The whole NACRA fleet, there's the majority are um, male helm and female crew. Uh, and I think when the, first, the boat first got introduced, people thought it would be the other way around because they kind of just assumed that the more physical role would be suited to the men. But yeah, just the way it's panned out, there's more male helms and female crews. John would probably say this, that the <laughs> girls are maybe better at multitasking and you've got to look quite a lot going on at the front of the boat. I am a bit of an older gentleman these days, so. I'd... I'd say no, she, she genuinely is better at multitasking and she's, you know, I'd say one of her biggest skills is that she's phenomenal moving around the boat. Crew and Manacra literally does everything, you know, they pull all the sails in, they're moving backwards and forwards and they're trimming the foils, you know, and our boat's particularly set up that and does everything. A big reason why I sail with Anna is because she's very tough and very fit and strong, you know, quite quite injury free. Out of all, all the people I sail with, I definitely say she's the toughest person. And when it gets hard on a four race day, she really can pull it together at the end of the day and, and keep going. When I first started sailing the boat, I probably spent six months just really full on um, learning to sail the boat and just every day in the gym trying to get to a level where I could actually do the role that was required and get through all of the training. That's the most important thing. For us, we just spend our whole time on the water and then I just supplement that with doing weights in the gym and just a lot of cycling and other fitnessy bits but we do a lot of our fitness actually on the water because you can't really get more specific than that.